Hey guys, this is Base Singer 3 and 3 here with a continuation of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Let's Play. Oi, holy shit, last episode. Uh, this is why I'm moving into my new format because, you, you, well, this is probably like, you, you'll understand it once like you see the recording dates and how I edit my videos, but, oi, uh, last episode was like horrible to edit due to how like desyncified and how the videos like, video itself just got fucked somehow, and I was like, that's really annoying to do, deal with, when, like, all of a sudden, like, you done so much work on, like, you're playing a game, you've done so much work, and then all of a sudden, like, once you're done with it, it's like, oh, something fucked up in the process, and, yeah, I, I really don't feel like doing all that all over again, only that, but, like, considering how, um, this game's, like, too uh, really long to begin with, I didn't want to bother with, uh, that. Also, by the way, um, originally I was supposed to, like, land on, uh, Kakariko Village, but I decided to, like, okay, I want to explore this game a little bit further. So I went back to the Great Plateau. Where's the Great Plateau exactly? The Great Plateau. I discovered a shit ton of these, like, Korok seeds, like, uh, just on my name, way naturally. Um, and, yeah, I, I was on my way to, I guess, the Korok Forest. Where is that exactly? This is... Oh, this country alone is Faron. Um... So, Kakariko Village. I think the Koran Forest is somewhere, like, around north of here, right? Somewhere around there. I originally wanted to go there. So, that's why I wanted to start to Kakariko Village. But then, I guess, like, uh... I was a little bit greedy. I wanted to search for more Korok seeds around, like, so... I guess, um... What I did was try to search for around these areas. Mostly this pathway area. Uh, I... Essentially ended up up here and oh, okay. I can fast travel here. See this thing is I was worried about because like I discovered this uh, uh, Shrine and I didn't see a fast travel option so I did this and To just to skip that cutscene that where like you could enter in and What the fuck? Whoa, where'd you guys come from? Okay, okay. All right. I'll deal with you guys first off Oh my god, I could do it that way. Okay. I think that's mm, that's good enough to deal with them, right? right. No, I can't, okay. Alright, so yeah. Anyways, um I swung you guys are still alive. Okay. Actually, is it even worth it though considering it oh, oh there goes one of my arrow, that's fine, I can't play with them anyways. Anyways, uh let's just get into the cave before like anything oh, before anything bad happens. I was just a little worried, so that's why I saved here instead, and that explains why I'm in this shrine instead of Kakariko Village. I just wanted to, like, I guess explore the game on my own time and collect all the collectibles that... Yeah, this game is fucking fun. I definitely wholeheartedly recommend it. It's like a new Zelda game. Still has, like, that Zelda charm, but, like... Jesus Christ, it's, like, so amazing to just explore the entire world, figure out, like, it's like, a, it's a, like a literal adventure, and this is something I feel that the original Legend of Zelda failed a little bit, and this is just making it a lot better in, in a three-dimensional place. Uh, anyways, puzzle room. What is this? The shrine atop these peaks share a connection. The memory, the answer to the other questions. Commit to memory before you start, lest a failure you will depart. Memory. Okay, let me see. Let me try and remember all of these platforms. So, there are five by five storage. There's like a five by five hole. I can pick them up. Okay, so this is this is a certain puzzle. I mm, okay. Hold on. Memory atone. Okay, there's this platform here. Let's see if I can climb upward. Maybe this is a place to uh, get to the. Ooh. <laughs> it's a little bit of an awkward elevator. How many cold uh, resistance foods do I have exactly? One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm perfectly fine. So when I uh, go out of the temple, I should be fine. Um, thank God this place, entire area is not as bad. Oh, okay. I think is that the shoe? <laughs> Oh, that's a close one. I almost died for a second. I forgot what the X button was. Alright, let's try not to make that same mistake again. <laughs> Alright, 
So, unless that door's a shrine. No, that door's a shrine, and I guess we're supposed to go over yonder over there. And yeah, so we need to unlock this somehow. And to do that, we need to solve this puzzle. There are one, two, three, four, five blue orbs in total. All. Okay, so let's look at it from this perspective. There's one at the very bottom right, one in the middle center. Not at the absolute center, one at the far left, one. Okay, so. Let's try it from left to right. Three, one, four, two, five. Three, one, four, two, five. From this perspective, and from left to right, top to bottom. Three, one, four, two, five. Okay. That's my memory. Uh. So, how exactly do we solve this puzzle? Let's go back to uh, Downward, just in case. And read this thing off again. The shrines atop these peaks... Sh the shrines atop these peaks share a connection. Their memory the answer to the other question. Oh, am I supposed to go to the other shrines in order to figure out the puzzle? Commit to memory before you start. Lest a failure, you will depart. Oh, I think I'm supposed to go to the other shrines and figure that out because, like... Okay. Alright, I should probably make note of that somewhere. There's no, like, no adventure log or anything that makes me able to... Yeah. Memories? Recovered memories? I think that's just part of the cutscenes? I, I don't know. The shrines atop these peaks share a connection. Their memory, the answer to the other question. Okay. Commit to memory before you start, lest a failure you will depart. Okay. I think this game is basically telling me that I cannot solve this puzzle without going to the other shrines beforehand. So... Yeah, these, all these probably have some sort of connection then, right? Okay, so I guess I'm not allowed to do this just yet. It's a good thing I can fast travel through this. I imagine like going back up here would be a pain in the dick because getting back, getting up there with very low stamina was really, really goddamn like hardcore. Okay, I'm gonna make a note of that just in case. So it was three, one, four, two, five. Right. Fuck, those guys are back. Hold on. Let me do something real quickly. Also, I forgot to got them. <laughs> do the stopwatch. As always, my let's play. Okay. Just to be safe, let me try again. Get in there, at least. Three, four, one, two, five. So, what location is this again? Oops. Okay. Three, four, one, two, five. That's from what I remember. This is... What's this place called? Let me skip this. Let me. There, I remember there was like text in the beginning, so maybe I should read that as well. Twin memories, the she veneer shrine. Okay. Hmm. I need a specific. Is it called the twin shrines or like twin memory shrines? There was something in the bottom that I missed as well. I wasn't able to, like, type that out because, like, the text disappeared before I could type it down. Yeah, I collected 13 Karak seeds, which, in my opinion, I feel might be just be shit. <laughs> so, yeah. Is she... Oh, shoot. God damn it. S-H-E-E. -E. Vanir... Uh, not Var... God damn it, autocorrect. Vanir Shrine. Okay. Hopefully that's a good thing, memory. Uh, is this one it too? Because I marked this and this is a stamp. Uh, by the way, I made I made multiple stamps and this stamp indicates that it's a shrine. So as you can see, this one is also a shrine that I have yet to go to. And I've also marked the ones that where I was like at a viewpoint and there's like a shrine here. This one I have no idea what that is. I think it's like either a boss battle there. I think. Something? I don't know. It has a skull, so it means danger of some sort. Stars? I have no idea why I stamped those as stars. I think these are, like, viewpoints, my guess. 
there's, yeah, there's two right here, two more shrines I have yet to go to. There's one here next to, uh, oh, I already told you the guys that one. So yeah, I've also been stamping a lot as well because, like, I feel that these pins are, are useful in order to, like, if you're on your destination towards there. But, like, if you're, like, traveling all over the place and you really want, like, a mental, like, note as to what this is, then this stamp is perfect. The problem being, of course, you only have a finite amount of stamps. You can only have 100 stamps at a time. So, as soon as I feel you, uh, I, uh, got rid of these, then it's a good thing that they turn into their own stamps here where you could eventually just, uh, fast travel there. Uh, other stamps I did. This was a boss battle, so I remember that one. Uh, this stamp indicates cooking areas, so yeah, that's basically, yeah, okay. Uh, let me eat something real quickly because I think I'm about to die from coldness if I don't do anything. I don't have any five hearts, but whatever, that's fine. I need to, like, really increase my, uh, heart count. Maybe I'll do that once I, uh, shit, 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 shit. I found out a little bit of trick. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm dealing with these guys first. Shit, really? I'll take you, I guess. Oh, there's a traveler sword, but oh well. Is that it? Okay. I don't need this bulk arm anymore then. I want my traveler sword. Or, I guess their traveler sword. It used to be followed by a traveler, but. I guess, yeah, they're dead now. Let's check my shield real quickly. Oh, I got a guardian shield, which is better, but... I got two soldier shields. You know, I'm fine. Also, it's probably best if I equip this shield instead, because this one's about to break. So, yeah. That's fine. Oh, hold on. I found a little bit of trick as to how you can climb up, but it only works when you're, like, at slopes. Like, just keep running, and then... Yeah, you will eventually, like... Get a little bit of boost. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. I also got a Korok seed here too. I remember. And that reminds me. I should. Pro the way I did that was like, okay. There was originally two. One apple here, and the other apple's not here. So I was like, okay. I'm gonna assume that something happens if I donate an apple here. And what you know, it a Korok seed is here. So I'm probably gonna do that uh, at the original area where uh, the uh, Kakariko Village was. That's probably a good idea to do. Oh my god, this place is filled with. Okay. Hold on a minute. Let's see if I marked any of these before. I don't think I marked this area, have I? No, I have not. Okay. So, that's one. That's I already marked, and that one is literally next to me, right? No, it's not. Okay, never mind. So, let me... Actually, just, just to be on the safe side... Let's mark the one on the far right as well. Just to be safe. I don't think I marked that one yet. Huh. Alright. I guess... Oh my god, there's a lot more. Okay. It's a good thing, like, the orange definitely, like, pops out out of all the... Is that another one? Or is that the one that I... Holy shit, that one's next to Kakariko Village. I, didn't, I don't think I've been there yet. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I'm getting a little bit uh, carried away with this. Um, yeah, let's go to that one now. I think this is actually the only way to get here. The Shivanath Shrine. These two shrines have to be connected somehow, right? So... Alright, Shiva Nath Shiva Nir, okay. Let me s see if I can type that in real quickly and hopefully autocorrect will not fuck me over. Shiva Nath. Okay, let's get in. And hold on. I think I could now. <gasps> Wait a minute, there's another one? Like, literally close to it? Well, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Shiva Nath Shrine. Okay. I get the feeling this might be a same, uh... Considering how the names are pretty similar, this might be a similar shrine of Calibur to the other shrine that we went to. Thank god there's fast travel. I cannot imagine trying to go back up and 
into these shrines again. That would be just really painful to do. Okay. Is it going to be the same? Yes, it's the same one. Okay. Except this time. To those who set foot in the shrine, I'm Shiva Nath. I offer... The, okay. Is that it? Alright. <coughs> Is this going to be the same thing? <coughs> the shrines atop these peaks share a connection. Their memory, the answer to the other's question. Okay. It's basically saying the same thing now. What? Oh, this is different. Because these two are now connected instead, and there's nothing in the middle. Hold on. Where's the... There you are. Okay. Yeah, and they're basically a perfect mirror to each other as well. Alright. Let's see. From what I'm seeing so far, 1, 2, and 5, 0, 4, 1. That is... Uh, Okay then. Let me type that down. So now it's two, three slash five, zero, and zero will indicate that there was nothing in the middle path. Four and one. Hmm. What do these numbers signify? I'm out of. Okay. Let's. Uh, I'm curious. What happens if I move... Maybe none of the numbers don't signify anything, but... What happens if I move this one to that one? This one? To this one? Like, all of them to, let's say, the second row in the middle path. I want to know if the, uh... First path changes at all. And one more. If it does... Then that's gonna continue my suspicion. So all of them in this pathway are now in the second one. Now if the other area changes, then we should know what's going on. Alright. If it doesn't, then... I don't know, and if the puzzle resets, then... Oh boy, this is one really tricky puzzle. I like games where it actually makes you think about what you're doing. Alright, we got 10 minutes, so like I think this entire game is going to be filled with just these types of puzzles. This entire session will just be filled with these puzzles. Yeah, the shrines are actually getting a lot tougher now. This is only the second area, and I'm already like, this puzzle. It's like, what the, what the hell is this? Alright. So now I'm in the second area. Oh, sorry, the original... And nothing seems to change. Okay. Five. Yeah, none of these change at all. Three, one, four, two, five. Three, one, four, two, five. Okay. So this one didn't change at all. What I want to know is... Okay. What if both of them are in the same exact area? Which actually, now in hindsight, I probably should have done. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get back in there. I don't want to. I didn't want to get out of there. I have an idea as to what this might entail. Let me look it back at the. Uh, it was like two, three, five, one, four, or two, three, five, five, four, one. It was one of those. Okay, yeah, two, three, five, zero, four, one. Okay. So let's say we move this into the number one slot. Like, let's say we have it mirrored each other, and for the other shrine, we have it so that it mirrors this one. Will something happen if we do that? So this one should be on four. There's nothing on number three. It's both occupied by five and three. And the last one is two. Oops. No, no. Not that one. That last one is two. This one should be on three. Alright, what happens now? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah! Alright, so we just have to do the same thing for the next one. I thought it was gonna be like a very complicated puzzle or something, but that was actually pretty simple. You just had to go to both shrines, mirror each other, and then... Bam, you got it. That was simple. 
I don't see any other treasure chests anywhere here, so I don't think I need to worry about that. Wait, hold on. What was that? I saw something... I thought I saw something orange for a second. Never mind. I guess my, my mind's just playing tricks on me. It's probably just the wall. <laughs> okay. And I just have to do the same thing for the other shrines. Alright. Give me my spirit orb! Yay! And we can upgrade. I think this is a good opportunity to upgrade our health once we, uh... Finish the other one. You can run smaller monsters on top of your gallop steed, but don't forget you cannot make quick turns while traveling this way. Okay. So yeah, give me a, giving me tips as to how to train my horse. Which I think is still a Kakariko village. Uh, assuming I haven't gone to and fast travel to the staples. Which you can't travel fast travel to the staples, unfortunately. So that area, you're going to have to walk on your own. Thankfully, there's a shrine here, so like... Walking there won't be too much of a hassle. Furthermore, uh, this staple has a thing next to it. I'm not sure why necessarily... I, I'm going to delete that stamp. Because uh, usually, staples will have uh, cooking utensils regardless. So, like, I'm only going to stamp any cooking utensils that has that's like out in the wild. Not necessarily that's in the stable. So, I probably should not do that. Alright. Travel back here. Alright, we got this. Three, four, one, two, five. I think that's an easy number number to remember, so. Yeah, I don't need any more of my notes. <laughs> I imagine th there'll be a lot more puzzles that are harder than that, though, because. It's just a gut feeling, I feel. Like, if there's anything that's tough, I think I'm willing to take on the challenge and really think outside of the box on how to solve these puzzles. These are very unique mini dungeons, I gotta say. I'm not sure if they necessarily, like, replace the uh, dungeons completely. Yeah, okay, so they reset regardless. Okay, so... Um... Shit, maybe I do need the notes. I forgot the numbers. I remember 4-1 as being the last one. But... 3-4... 3-2-5-4-1? Three, four, one, two, five. Wow. Okay, so I remember three. Sorry, four and one being close to each other is just I messed up. But whatever. This is for getting notes down. Uh, third option is one, two, five. Okay, one, two, five. And yeah, that should be it. This one's close to that one, so might as well throw it on number five. And this one, right there. Bam. Open thy door! Uh, wait, wait. Did I do something wrong? Three, four, one, two... The fuck? Wait a minute, huh? Wasn't it originally three, four... One, two, five? I must have fucked up somehow. I think I got the number wrong? Because two, three, five, zero, four, one... Is this shrine correct? Yeah, the elevator's on the right side, so it has to be a different... Also, wait, wait, wait a minute. What is that? Oh, there's something up, up there. That's essentially a treasure chest. Okay, let me do something real quickly before I do anything else. But... I think I might have fucked up or something. Three, four, one, two, five. Three, four... One, two, five. Yeah, that's correct, isn't it? Uh. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, yay. There must have been a treasure in the other side, too. Let me go back to the other side. Maybe I got my numbering incorrect. Serpentine spear. Oh, cool. But, oh, fuck me. Okay. What do I not need? I still need this axe in case I want to chop up some wood. I don't think I need a club, but then again, I might need that just for cooking. Got a lot of speech. Actually, no. I got a double axe. I don't think this axe is needed, so I'm just going to drop this one. Actually, what I'm curious is if I... Hold on. Let me drop something real quickly. Throw it. Let's just throw it over there. Take this axe. Throw it over there. What I want to know is if the axe will still be there 
after I leave the dungeon. Because I'm not sure 100% whether or not uh, items are stay there forever. It would be sweet, but considering how like items do like respawn again, I don't think that should be the case. I think that axe will be gone forever now that I've left this area. All right, I might have got my numbering incorrect, so let me see this again. Is it three four one two five, or is it a different number that I fucked up in? Because I think that has to be it, if the puzzle piece did not work. Alright, so looking backwards... Oops. It was a 4-1! I... Oh, okay, yeah, I fucked up. 3... Wait, no, it was a 4-5. Oh, never mind. I thought that 4 and 1 were close to each other, but I guess... Uh, never mind. Okay, so... I did fuck up. I got the numbering incorrect, so it's actually 3-1... Four, two, five. Okay. Now that I got that settled, now I. Oh, actually, I should have just fast traveled to the other building instead, but oh well. Okay, three, one, four, two, five this time. Okay. And there's a dungeon literally next to it too, unless that was the same dungeon and I just mismarked it. I don't know, but uh... If there is a dungeon next to it, I guess I could just do that real quickly. Um... For that matter, I probably could like go to like all the dungeons and just activate them. Or something. Oh god, it's raining and I'm in the icy cliffs. That can't be a good combination. I probably didn't even need to eat that curry in the first place considering how... It's only like... Oh, it was only 19... Wasn't it? Wait, hold on. It says uh, 19 degrees Celsius in, uh, from the bottom left-hand corner when I paused the map, so... Like, that's not really that cold. Like, for the mountain? That seems really, really tame, honestly. Uh, 3-1. Okay. One, okay. 3-1, 4-2-5. Hopefully, I have this correct at this time. Yeah, I figured the axe is no longer there, so... Okay, so, what I get? Three... One... Four... Okay. This, wait. This feels like I'm repeating myself or something. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I might have fucked up a little bit or something, but I, did I get the number ring incorrect again? No, I got it correctly this time, so that's good. There might have been some treasure chest in, um, the other dungeon. Like, okay, I think I'm just, I'm done backtracking back and forth for, from those dungeons, so I think I'm good to go. Uh, Alright, back to the clock. That only took 21 minutes, so... Let's just get our thing. Finally, finally increase our heart container count. Now that we have four spirit orbs. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild.